Hey guys and welcome to another quick Logic Pro X tips tutorial and I'm just going to show you very quickly the basics of how the vocoder works. Okay I've got it here it's the wrong drum beat don't worry about the drum beat but I've got it here doing a classic vocoder thing that most people have heard which is uh, earth wind and fire like this. <laughs> Okay, now, it's pretty simple how it works. You create an instrument track. This is a basic instrument track, you know, like software instrument. Create an instrument track on the channel here in the inspector column for that instrument track which is selected. You go down the column here and you find the raw instrument slot. Drop that down and here are all your raw logic instruments. And you choose the EVOC 20PS vocoder. Right, so the vocoder is on the instrument track as the instrument. But the vocoder itself makes no sound. So to work out the pattern that you're playing that's going to trigger the vocoder, just set up a basic polysynth, any synth uh, that's simple, you know. And then you can work on the pattern and actually hear the notes. So I've got the pattern here on this polysynth track. There it is, it's just this octave thing like this. Like this. Right, so use a basic polysynth to work out the pattern thing. And once that's done, you then copy it or drag it onto the vocoder track. Right, so that pattern I've created by listening to the, the polysynth as I created it is now placed on the vocoder track. Now the vocoder itself makes no sound. So what you do then is here's my raw vocal, right? This is the raw vocal. We can boogie down, down upon down, the boogie sound, down up. Right, that's on audio track one. So on the vocoder here, I choose for the side chain audio track one. Okay, and now the notes that I created by listening to the polysynth will trigger the vocoder, which will vocode the audio from the audio track on the side chain. And then you get this. Okay, simple as that. But actually what I'm doing in this case is I'm blending in a little bit of the actual polysynth. And you could want, you can blend in some of the vocal as well. And if you don't know where that track is from, it's from this. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so that, that's how you do it. And look, here's the thing, there are presets. But if you want to get uh, use bow coding so you can actually hear the vocal phrases, um, you're going to need to use one of the vintage bow coder presets. The synthesizer and warped ones, you won't actually hear the the, the vocal words that you're you're singing or speaking. Okay, um, and that's it. And you can just experiment. But I'll just show you some sort of really basic stuff. Um, here is the thing with the waves, the mode. Now there's FM, but I'm going to look at it just in this dual mode. And you've got an upper and lower wave, wave one and wave two, right? And this is the blend control between them. So if we just only listen to the vocoder now. So this is all wave one. And this is all wave two. Then you just blend them together. Both of the waves, if you drag this thing up and down, there are different waves for each of the two wave slots. So if I push it all the way this way, uh, we can listen to the different waves on wave one. Uh, 
etc right and then the lower wave wave two same thing this pushes it you can choose different waves for this for the lower wave <laughs> Yeah, so you choose the wave that you want for wave one and wave two and then the balance between them. The upper wave here has got an octave selector. Right? And the lower wave has a semi-tune and a detune. So you've got semis here. And there's a fine tune as well in. Etc. Right, and that's just basically how it works. And then you've got other control. You can work out this stuff here. Yeah. You've got this. This is your bandwidth, so to speak. Lower frequency, upper frequency levels, etc. Format, stretch, and shift. You just, you know, you just adjust and listen. Basically, there's an LFO here. There's stereo width. There's ensemble control here, and sensitivity, and there's attack and sidechain analysis. This is short and long, and then you've got attack and release, cut off resonance, etc analog amount overall tuning glide you know bend range etc so just mess around with it yeah just mess around <laughs> That's it. There you go. That's your book coder. So I might tune this down an octave so they're both low. Let's have a listen to this wave. So now it's like all both waves are at the same octave, but this is a more growly, edgy wave or whatever you want, you know. Da, 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 da. Yeah, easy peasy stuff, right? So there you go, that's how it works. Um, go away and do a bit of vocoding. Okay, see you for the next one. <laughs>